we have a quadratic factor, x squared, and it's repeated. See, it's to the second power. So how do we solve a partial fraction decomposition problem like this? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to break it up so we know it's going to be x, and this will be a because it's one degree less, plus this is going to be x squared plus 1, and this is going to be x squared plus 1, the quantity squared. We have to take into account both of these, okay, the one to the first power and the one to the second power, because when we combine these together, when we get a common denominator, we're not going to know if we have this one and this one or just this one, okay? So we have to take both of those into account. If it was cubed, we want to have this x squared plus 1, x squared plus 1 squared, and then the x squared plus 1 cubed. So what we have here now is this is going to be bx plus c. Notice this is one degree less, and it goes in descending order until you get to the constant. And this is going to be dx plus e. Now this is a this is a big problem. These take a little bit longer, okay? Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to multiply through by the common denominator, clear the fractions. So we're going to multiply left and right sides of this equation by the common denominator, which is this right here. So when we do that, we're left with x to the fourth plus 3x cubed plus 7x minus 1 equals a times x squared plus 1 squared, because the x's are going to cancel, plus bx plus c times x times x squared plus 1 plus dx plus e times x. Okay, so you can see this is uh, quite a large equation. So what we're going to do now is we're going to be strategic. We're going to pick some values. We're going to say, for example, like uh, let x equal 0. That'll cancel out this group and this group, okay, allowing us to solve for a. Okay, so let's see if we can do that. So if we let x equal 0, that's going to give us negative 1 equals 0 squared plus 1 squared times a, so a is negative 1. Okay, good, we've got that one. Aside from that, that's about all we're going to be able to do to, to cancel uh, out some of these other terms. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to FOIL this out, okay? I'm going to replace a with what a equals, a negative 1. We're going to simplify this. We're going to make a system. So I'll show you how that works. So we're going to FOIL this out. This is going to come out to negative x to the fourth minus 2x squared minus 1, because I'm foiling this and distributing the negative 1, plus this is going to be uh, bx, uh, let's see, let's foil this. So this would be bx cubed times this x is bx to the fourth. This is going to be, uh, let's see, x and then times the bx, so that's going to be bx squared plus cx squared times x, so that's cx cubed plus c times 1 times x, so that's plus cx plus dx squared plus ex. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to group uh, like terms together here. Okay, and so the way we're going to do that is we're going to gather together all the x to the fourth terms. Okay, so if we do that, we have b minus 1 times x to the fourth, so I group these together. We're going to group the x cubed terms together now, so we've got cx cubed, okay, and that's the only one, so that's cx cubed. We're going to group the x squared terms together, so that's going to be this one, this one, and this one, so that's going to be plus, uh, let's see, that's going to be b plus d minus 2 times x squared, and then we're going to group the x terms together, which that's just going to be cx and ex. So that's going to be plus c plus e times x. Okay. And then we have uh, negative 1 is uh, our constant. Okay. So we can say this is uh, minus 1 equals x to the fourth plus 3x cubed plus 7x minus 1. So we're going to solve this okay, equation, and we're going to do that by setting b minus 1, the coefficient in front of the x to the fourth term, 
equal to this coefficient, which is 1. So we have b minus 1 equals 1. Okay, so you can see b is going to equal 2. Now we're going to set the x cubes equal to x cubes. So you can see that c equals 3. Okay, c equals 3. And we're going to set the coefficients in front of the x squared terms, b plus d minus 2. And you can see there's not an x squared term here, so that's going to be b plus d minus 2 equals 0. Okay, and because we know that b is 2, that's going to be 2 plus d minus 2 equals 0. Those cancel, so you can see that d equals 0. And then the last one, let's see, we've got uh, c plus e, which is a coefficient in front of the x. That's c plus e equals 7. Okay, and we know c is 3, so that's 3 plus e equals 7. So we know that e equals 4. And negative 1, of course, equals negative 1. So now we've got a, b, c, d, and e. We can substitute those in, and those will be our partial fractions. I'll see you in the next video.